Yeah, so I promised to bus to and from work all of January. I mean, it's been a great experience so far. I've been learning a lot, talking to drivers and meeting some of my neighbors on the bus too, asking them how, how they like to take the service and what the challenges are. And um, I, think I'm, I think I've learned a lot and I'll have a lot of questions for the administration after it's all said and done. So right off the bat, I realized uh, in terms of Pego cards, there's not a whole lot of availability in, in North St. Boniface. It would have taken maybe a half hour walk. So it's kind of my first lesson. We are, we are a, a city that's pretty sprawled in terms of our population density, so that provides some certain challenges for, uh, uh, for our ability to uh, provide uh, well, more, more bus service, essentially, which I think is, is essential uh, going forward in a city that's going to be a million people by 2033. Um, we, we know that we can build uh, big interchanges uh, everywhere in Winnipeg, but we will have to be moving a million people, and I think the bus is a big part of that solution. I find uh, from a stress perspective, uh, I, think, um, I think having taken the bus the last little while actually uh, actually has me feeling a little bit calmer when I get into the work day. Even if it's not directly work related, uh, so many things now are done on the phone, uh, whether it's grocery shopping or, uh, or planning out your, uh, your social evening. So I think, uh, yeah, I think, I think there's a lot of benefits to riding if, uh, if you can, if your job allows you to. Uh, I think uh, maybe it's the little engine that could. Uh, it's able to deliver uh, very good service for, uh, for relatively uh, low cost. Uh, we've got a big, sprawling city, and uh, I think we're doing a pretty good job considering.